All right, same idea on this one. We're just going to multiply these two quantities. They just happen to be fractions. So we can put these both under the same radical. So I'd have x over 8 times 9 over z. And of course, using fraction multiplication, I've got x times 9, which would be 9x, over 8 times z, which would be 8z. Um, well, there are parts of this that we can't factor out on this one. For example, the 9. 9 is going to split up into 3 and 3. So this ends up being the square root of 3 times 3 times x. And 8 would split up into 4 and 2. And 4 splits up into 2 and 2. So this is all over 2 times 2 times 2 times... That's a z. So if I have pairs of anything, I can pull it out, right? So in other words... This is going to equal, I still got the square root, but uh, I had two threes in the numerator right here, so I can pull that out, and I've got these two twos which I can pull out of the denominator like this. So that would give me three halves times, all I have left in the numerator is the x, and in the denominator I still have that 2z. Yeah, it's possible on this homework assignment that they just may want it to look like this here in black. But fully, if we were to simplify this, it should look like what we have here in the bottom. Right here.